welcome everyone um so today our topic is going to be about the optic nerve just going to a quick intro about optic optic nerve first it stands to be the second cranial nerve second cranial nerve they are a paired nerve responsible for vision they both are responsible they are responsible for the vision the origin the origin of optic nerve is the forebrain so the formation optic nerve is a collection of uh, is a collection of axons optic nerve is a collection of axons approximately 1.2 million axons of ganglionic cells of ganglionic cells make makes an optic nerve makes the optic nerve So now, uh, let us see the parts of optic nerve. Uh, since yellow is not so clear, I use orange to depict this nerve. Let us imagine this to be the eyeball. And yeah. So this will be optic nerve. Since it is paired nerve, it also have a course this side. which is to the left side if this is right this is to the left side and this connecting x part is known as the optic chiasma then it gets then it gets radiated into the forebrain so we have four parts of optic nerve which is this to be the specific optic nerve yeah moreover saying this as the part this is the course of optic nerve where this is the this stands to be the optic nerve this is the optic chiasma this is the optic tract and this will be the optic radiation as i said early, earlier the origin will be from the forebrain um, it is not specifically the origin but the radiation ends to be in the forebrain and there are certain lesions of optic nerve which will be dealt to you in your physiology class so now the optic nerve is divided into four parts on the basis of its presence the optic nerve is divided into four parts first part is that intraocular second part is intraorbital third part is intracanaliculi and fourth part is intracranial with these names itself you have come to a conclusion that uh, this part belongs inside the eye and this part is present inside the orbital canal orbit this part is present inside the orbital canal or optic canal sorry optic canal and this part is the presence of uh, optic nerve inside the cranium yeah as we guessed this part is uh, the part of nerve the part of nerve within the eye this is the part of nerve within the orbit the part of nerve within the optic canal 
and the part of nerve within the cranium. So next, the measurements of these parts of uh, optic nerve. Intraocular part, about 1 millimeter of the nerve is present inside the eye, eyeball and that 1 millimeter nerve is known as intraocular part. Intraorbital, inside the orbit there is 25 millimeter size of nerve present inside the orbit and 5 millimeter present inside the canal, optic canal and the remaining part in the intracranium. And of these intraocular uh, that is the nerve inside the eyeball is unmyelinated. And the nerve outside the eyeball that is the intraorbital nerve part of nerve is myelinated. This intracanaliculi, it comes along with, it comes along with ophthalmic artery. So, now a pic picture depiction for you. So, this will be your eyeball. And this will be the nerve part. Imagine this to be the entire nerve apart from chiasma, the tract and the radiations. Imagine this to be your optic nerve and this is your orbit. this to be your orbit so now this part so now this part this greenish part inside the eye is intraocular this bluish part inside the orbit is known as intraorbital This particular part inside the optic canal, inside the optic canal is intracanaliculi. And this remaining part inside the cranium. It is known as intracranial. Yeah, so this will be the parts of the four parts of optic nerve. Now we will go on to the anatomical relations of optic nerve. Relations of optic nerve. The optic nerve. Uh, as we all know the optic nerve enters from the optic canal and as we saw yesterday it is surrounded by recti muscles yeah so let us see the pic we discussed earlier see in this picture i have mentioned this to be the optic nerve this optic nerve is surrounded by recti muscles yeah so this is the first relation of optic nerve where it is surrounded by recti muscle then there will be the presence of presence of ciliary ganglion ciliary ganglion red 
to the optic nerve yeah it will be like the optic nerve's course will be like this and there will be the connection of ciliary ganglion side it is yes, ciliary ganglion so the first two relations are done then the central artery and vein pierces the nerve what is the central artery and vein now let us imagine this to be the eyeball inside which the retina is placed here and this will be your optic nerve this will be your optic nerve <coughs> now the central artery and vein of retina comes in this side and uh, yeah. comes like this and posterior to the eyeball it pierces the optic nerve and it enters into the eyeball and it supplies to the retina so this will be your central artery central artery and vein of retina to be precise the central vessels of retina this is the third relation of uh, optic nerve now we'll see superior and inferior relations superiorly it is crossing by ophthalmic artery ophthalmic artery nasociliary nerve superior ophthalmic vein let us go to the picture we discussed earlier that is uh, yeah in this picture this to be the optic nerve and if we see superiorly it is crossed by ophthalmic artery the nasociliary nerve and the superior ophthalmic vein so these three are crossed superiorly by the optic nerve <coughs> and then inferior relations not inferior to optic nerve that is the optic nerve crossed inferiorly by optic nerve crossed inferiorly by inferiorly by nerve to medial rectus nerve to medial rectus so again to the same pic we see our ophthalmic sorry optic nerve here and the medial rectus here so the nerve the nerve to the medial rectus is crossed inferiorly by the optic nerve so this will be the inferior relation and then the final relation is very important where near the eyeball near the eyeball the nerve is surrounded by some fatty tissues surrounded by fatty tissues fatty tissues or fatty layer fatty tissues or fatty layer which contains vessels which contains vessels and those vessels are named as ciliary vessels ciliary vessels these vessels acts to be the blood supply of the optic nerve so again we'll imagine this to be the eyeball this is the optic nerve and this is the eyeball 
and here will be the presence of a fatty layer here will be the presence of a fatty layer and some vessels out of this these vessels are known as ciliary vessels to be precise posterior or short ciliary vessels these vessels are known as yeah i'll repeat short posterior ciliary artery which stands to be the blood supply of optic nerve blood supply of optic nerve i'm sorry so these vessels stands to be the short posterior ciliary artery and this is responsible for the blood supply of optic nerve and then <coughs> now we'll see to the clinical anatomy of optic nerve clinical anatomy is also very important uh, for the exam basis uh, this optic nerve has no neural lemma sheath and hence once distracted it remains to be distracted and there is no regeneration power then optic neuritis it is a major clinical condition where it is characterized by <coughs> pain in and behind pain in and behind of the eyeball in res in response to any ocular movements whenever you move your eyes or try to see something you will get pain in and behind the eyeball and optic atrophy optic atrophy it is another clinical condition which can be characterized by any disorders that is uh, which can be caused by any disorders or disease disease or disorders so that is about the anatomy of optic nerve any doubts you can post it in the comment section or uh, we'll reply to you at the earliest thank you